I'm at Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I'm gonna see some famous people. I may have, may, may drink a beer at their graves. One of them or two. So I'm in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery and they're pumping the pond, see this nasty green water. And if you want, you can just drink it, right? Right camera? I'll, 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 I'll resist the urge this time, but not next time. Pretty sure we're coming up on Johnny Ramon. Right, ha. Huh? It's one of these. One of these fucking statues. Who the fuck are these other statues? There he is. There's a pyramid. That's neat. And here's Johnny Ramon. Please come back, Vincent Gallo. As good a friend as there ever was, John Frusciante. Johnny Ramon. Born John Cummings. Legendary guitarist for the Ramones. If a man can tell if he's been successful in his life by having very great friends, then I have been very successful. He was a great American, the greatest friend. I love you, John. Eddie Vader. A dedicated punk and loyal friend. Thanks for everything. I miss you, Johnny. Rob Zombie. Oh my god, there's more. You're my partner. You're the coolest. I love you so much forever and always. Love, Linda Ramone. Forever here today, never gone tomorrow. My eternal friend. I love you, Lisa Marie Presley. I want people to review me when I'm dead. He was a huge piece of shit. Love everyone. Here in front of Johnny Ramone's grave. We're going to do some punk rock stuff, I suppose. Uh, we're in Hollywood Forever Cemetery. I'll show you the rest of that as this continues. This is an Amstel beer. Amstel over the beer, below the lager. It's from 1997. If you look at the date code there, probably June 1st, 1997. So that makes it a 26 year old beer. Let's have a chug ski. Very carbonated. Smells like shit. Let's get down before some normies show up. Oh, my bar found his grave. That's punk, right? Oh my fuck, that's nasty. I might really puke. Tastes like straight sewage. Here's a little for you, Johnny. Alright, we'll keep the bottom off. Ah. Alright, on to the next grave. Here's Toto. Apparently, according to the cameraman, he's not really here. Which means he's not in Kansas, nor is he in the Hollywood Forever Cemetery anymore. The man, the myth, the legend, Burt Reynolds grave. Kinda wish I drank the beer over here, I only brought one. Looking thick, Burt, looking thick. Some nice pixie down here. Let's take a look at that. It's got some old spider webs, must've been brought by a fan. Not really sure what that one's about. Oh man, that's a lot of ants. Oh my God, the ants are eating you, Burt. Run, run, Burt, run. Here's interesting, on the side of Burt Reynolds' headstone there's a QR code, but it doesn't work. It doesn't go to anything. Here's Anton Yelchin. It's a little sad what happened to him. Got crushed by his car. They actually recalled the car that killed him. But uh, killed real young. Uh, he's a year older than me, but died much younger. Here's one labeled Mama Irene. Irene Gudango. Gudango. Not only was she perfect, she was Italian. Hmm. Interesting that. Here's the grave of Chris Cornell, the uh, singer of, uh, I can't remember the band, but it's, uh, he sung, sang Black Hole Sun. That's interesting. Let's look. We always do this. People hate this. I'm going to read this little fan note here. Oh, no, I think it's too wrecked to read. If I open that, it's going to wreck. But uh, it's a bunch of guitar picks. Ivan has ones. Roadmaster. Looks like the end of a dart, maybe? Stylus pick, I've never heard of that. Taylor, interesting. So, so another feature of the Hollywood Forever Cemetery is all the peacocks. Here's the grave of Vampira, apparently the predecessor to uh, Elvira. I had never heard of her until the cameraman brought it up to me. But uh, here it is, nonetheless. Here's one of the final two we're looking for in Hollywood Forever. It's Mickey Rooney. Uh, 
famous for his extremely racist portrayal in uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Only that. Only that. All right, here's the final one. Didi Ramon. Brianna, can you hold this camera, please? Okay, I gotta go now. That's pretty good. Uh, me too. This is uh, the Hollywood Forever Cemetery. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Now we're in Forest Lawn Memorial Park. It's the Los Angeles one. If you look, there's some mountains. We're going to see Ronnie James Dio first. That's the first one. All right, here's uh, the first one for Forest Lawn. We actually had to detour to find Dio. He's next, but here's Carrie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds. Turn right. And, and now it's telling me to turn right, but uh, Debbie Reynolds, hot ticket. Here's the one we walked to, Ronnie James Dio. Holy but whore, with my cheeks clenched tight, I do have to wipe. Oh boy, I hope it's not real. But that's that's the second one. What next? What next, I wonder? In this cavern of cadavers? This next one is really cool. It's Michael Clark Duncan. Let me give someone Mrs. Cornbread. Except I would have to be bigger and blacker. M much of both. Uh, he's honestly one of my favorite actors. Very entertaining. Too bad he died. I know he lost a lot of weight. And I think he had a heart attack, if I'm not wrong. Way too lazy to look that stuff up. Comment down below if you're not. But uh, cool grave nonetheless. Awfully small vault for a, uh, like that's my hand, for a guy that big. He was fucking huge. Here's a grave of Bill Paxton. Really interesting mural up there. I always really loved Bill Paxton. I thought he was a phenomenal actor. He was very, very good in frailty. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you should. Um, I don't know, I don't have a whole lot else to say, but I really enjoyed him as an actor, that's for sure. Here's a grave of David Carradine. Great actor in Kill Bill. Uh, rumor has it he whacked himself to death uh, with the autoerotic asphyxiation. No judgment here. As a uh, skank I once fucked said, uh, don't let me yuck your yum. Isn't that what she said? Mm -hmm. It was really gross. Uh, he will ever be more revered as one who popularized the spiritual values of the East and the West. Dancer, musician, artist, actor, producer, director, writer, composer, storyteller, poet, philosopher, ass Asthete? I don't know that one. Academician, martial artist, master teacher, kung fu. I'm looking for a place where the dogs don't bite and children don't cry and everything's always just, always just goes right and brothers don't fight. Well, you're gonna need to keep looking, boss. You got a lot of brothers. It's not a real place. Another in our small tour is Jack LaLanne. The power juicer man who also had many, many feats of strength. He once towed 70 people in 70 small rowboats, all the way, I think, a mile and a half when he was 70. Fitness pioneer, inventor, bodybuilder, chiropractor, weird. Television star, humanitarian, patriot, family man. He made a, the world a better place. He taught us diet and exercise were the keys to longevity. His many quotes called Lelanisms include, anything in life is possible and you can make it happen. Your waist is your lifeline. Exercise is king and nutrition is queen. Put them together and you've got a kingdom. Don't exceed the feed limit. The food you eat today is walking and talking tomorrow. Ten seconds on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. It's better to wear out than to rust out. If man makes it, don't eat it. Make haste slowly. Eat right and you can't go wrong. When I play, I play for keeps and tear the grass in great big heaps. The world misses you, Jack. It's a pretty neat headstone. One of the more wilder ones I've seen on this little tour. Here's yet another one, Paul Walker. He died uh, in a car crash in a Porsche. Much the same way, in a sense, that James Dean did. A gas tank under it burned him to death. Um, not a good way to go, I suppose. I know 4chan had a laugh riot with it. Paul, 12, 18, 22, Christmas wishes. Hugs and all my love and kisses, you are missed. We, every day. I can't read the rest of it. Pretty flowers, but no actual stone. Interesting. All right, the last one's gonna be Brittany Murphy. I was gonna do Rich Piana, but I can't find him. So one more. And here's the final grave I'm doing. This took forever to do. Honestly, finding headstones is one of the worst things ever. I may go to another cemetery where Rod McEwen is, because I'd really like to see him. And I'll go see Bukowski. It's pretty here. It's Brittany Murphy. Uh, she died under somewhat mysterious circumstances in her shower. Uh, possibly, I, I think she had drugs in her system and she had suffered an aneurysm, if I remember right. I can't really remember. But that's it. Uh, this will be like a Friday video where I probably combine both graveyards, the Hollywood Forever and Forest Lawn Cemetery.
Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Here's Judy Garland. She got a whole pavilion. Whole walls her. This whole building's her. Hang on, I'll show you the uh, thing. I mean, there's other people in here, but they named the building after.